blog, you read the instructions and follow the pictorials, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. We're gonna go ahead and make a video for the sew along because it's easier for me to make videos than it is for me to type it out. So that's what we're gonna do. And today we're just going to be just choosing our pants, finding out all of the items that we're gonna need for the sew along, and we're also going to be preparing the pant to turn it into a purse. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so some of the things we're gonna need for this sew along are going to be the jeans, of course, and these are a child's 18 month size jeans, and I'm planning on making a basic purse, but you can have any size pant jeans that you would like. It does not have to be a child's. It could be an adult. I've done this in adult size as well. You need a ruler. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need a measuring tape. You're going to need a marking utensil. I'm using an ink pen so you guys can see what I'm doing. However, you should use a fabric marker that is washable or chalk or soap or something like that. Um, you're going to need a lining fabric. And this is um, some fabric I had on hand. You can recycle some fabric if you would like since this is an upcycle tutorial. You're going to need straight pins and a zipper to go across the top. The entire top of the pant. This one's a little bit long but that's okay because it goes across the top and you're going to need a zipper for the inside pocket and um, yeah that's it so let's begin let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is decide how long we want no actually the first thing we're going to do on day one is we're going to prepare the jeans for use for the tutorial to make the purse. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and cut off the hems just like this and you don't have to throw these hems away you can if you want to but you don't have to. You can use these hems in other projects and I'll make videos on that and now we're going to open up these seams right here. So I'm going to turn the pant towards me and you just cut open the seam just like this and you cut that seam all the way off so you're basically opening the pant up and this is how you're going to begin almost every project where you're making a bag you don't have to but to have the best outcome the most professional looking outcome, this is how you're going to do that. You're going to open up those seams. Now that the seam is opened up, I'm going to go ahead and cut this other side of the seam off because sometimes when you have jeans, you have that heavy top stitching right here. These pants don't have it because they're children's pants, but just in case it does, what you would do is go ahead and cut that off. And that's what I'm doing now. I didn't have to on these jeans, but I'm just showing you how to do it if that heavy top seam was there. Because if you're using an adult pair of pants or an older child's pair of pants to do this, odds are you are going to have that heavy top stitching on the top. So you just cut that off. And now your pant is completely opened up. Now what you're going to do is decide how long you want your purse to be. You can use the entire length of the pant if you like or you can cut it off right here, whatever you want to do. Just make that decision. I think what I want to do is I'm going to cut mine off right here. I have done it to where I cut it off down here but today I'm going to cut it off right here because I want to use these pant legs for um, the straps. So I'm going to cut it off, well I'll cut it off right here. And I'm going to mark that. And 
then there's a line right there. Now you guys can probably barely see that. Probably should have used a different color. And I'm just going to cut this off. And then I'm going to take this, fold it over to the other side, make sure the hems are matching, and cut this side off as well. Now we have something like this where you have this open here and if you turn it over you still have this area here where the um, crotch used to be. So how we're going to fix that is we're going to turn the pants on the wrong side out and you're going to grab the center seam for the front and the center seam for the back and your pants are it's going to look like this. So this is where the back crotch used to be, and this is where the front used to be. Now what we need to do is straighten this out and straighten this out so we can go ahead and make our purse. So what I'm going to do is take my ruler, line it up with the top of the pant. Well, not the top of the pant, I'm lining it up just under the waist so I can draw a straight line to make this as straight as possible and this line that I'm drawing is not the cutting line. This line that I'm drawing make sure that your crotch area is even. This line that I'm drawing is actually the sewing line so you sew on this line. And after we sew on this line here we cut this off. You're going to do the same thing for this other side. Line up just under where the zipper is. Make sure it's even. Make a straight line. And this is the sewing line. So now I'm going to sew on this line and sew on this line. And then I'll be back and show you what it looks like. And then tomorrow we'll go ahead and mark the lining. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like on this part when I'm done. One moment. Okay, so I have my presser foot here lined up. Let me zoom in a little bit more. One moment. Okay. Okay, as you can see, I have my presser foot lined up with the line that I marked here. And all I'm going to do is sew on that line. And don't forget to backstitch. Sew on that line to mark where I want the uh, stitch to go. We're going to try to stay on that line as much as possible. Which is kind of hard for me because I'm actually trying to guide the fabric around the camera, well, around the camera, so it can be on the camera. But we're going to stay on that line as much as we possibly can. Let the press of foot do the work. All you're doing is holding your fabric to guide it through the machine. You're not pushing it through. Let the presser foot do this job and pull it through like it's supposed to. And then you have this side. Okay, I'm back and now I have sewed up on the lines that I created right here. I'm using white thread, so hopefully you guys can see this through the camera. But however, when you do this, you're going to use a thread that matches your jeans. And I also sewed along this line right here to make a straight line. Now all I'm going to do is cut off the excess on this side and cut off the excess on this side. Now I have straight lines. So when I turn this back to the other side we have something 
like this. So now we can go ahead and turn this into a purse. So tomorrow what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back and we're gonna mark our lining and we're going to, we're gonna mark our lining for this, which will be this, and we're going to make the inside pocket. So meet me, go, meet me back here tomorrow and we'll go ahead and continue on this so along with day two. Okay, today is the end of day one of our jeans to purse upcycle sew along. Tomorrow when we come back, we will be doing the inside lining as well as the inside pocket to the purse. It's not as hard as it looks. Um, actually, it's pretty easy, but that video may be a little bit longer than today's video because I'm going to be going into detail so we won't skip any parts. And when you're done, you'll know how to make the inside zipper pocket to any purse you want to do. And also, if you would like to join the sew along and the upcycle challenge for the month and you have not already joined the Facebook group, there will be a link in the description box to the Facebook group and you will go ahead and join that. Submit your pictures to the group before the end of the month and at the end of the month I will make a video featuring everybody's projects and you're going to have it all over Facebook and all over YouTube and you're going to be so proud of yourself and everyone's going to give you a pat on the back and all that good stuff because you're going to make excellent stuff. I know you are. Okay, so you can go ahead and join that. You could also submit. If you do not want to join Facebook, if Facebook's not your thing, you can send me an email to my um, website. Go ahead and go to my website, TashaSewingTutorials.com, and fill out the Contact Us form, and you can send me an email, and I will also put your picture of your project in the um, video at the end of the month. And also, you will get be able to have a chance to have your project submitted into the actual photo gallery on the website for this month's uh, sewing challenge. So there you have it. We will see you tomorrow. And once again, check the description box for the sewing, sewing challenge links to Facebook and also to the contact us form on my website. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can either Facebook me or contact me via Twitter, Instagram, and you can also use the contact us form. So I'm not that hard to find. So if you have any questions, you can do that. Or you can also leave a question, a comment in the comment sections of this video as well and I can answer your comments there and until tomorrow I would just like to say happy sewing